This video is part of the new series called InfoOS 12 Features and Challenges. And today we are going to talk about automatic user provisioning with BODs. So what are the BODs? BOD stands for a Business Object Document. Essentially, those are messages in XML format that are exchanged by in four components. BODs may be used for many different purposes, such as application updates, user creation, interfaces, etc. In this podcast, I'll focus on BODs that deal with user provisioning. An example of such BOD you will see on this screenshot. In order to use BODs, you need to have ION infrastructure. Such infrastructure relevant to user provisioning process is a part of the Infor OS product. BODs are exchanged between N4 components via something called IOBox. For the purposes of this discussion, IOBoxes are simply small databases, in our scenario created in SQL Server. Each application, such as LSF, Landmark, and Mingle, will need to have IOBoxes. Finally, components that can use BODs need to understand how to work with them. So, in order to implement BODs with LSF and Landmark, you will need to be on fairly recent versions of LSF and Landmark environments as well as in 4 OS 12. There are very good chances that you do not use BODs to do user provisioning right now. So, how do you do it without BODs? In 4 provides clients with variety of proprietary tools that allow one to create resource management records in LSF, actors in Landmark, identities, assign security roles, etc. If your environment is federated, good chances are you are using ISS, in for security service. It has a web interface that allows one to provision and modify users in both LSF and Landmark at the same time. There are also command line tools, like SSO config and SecADM. Finally, IPA in for process automation allows one to automate the user provisioning process to some degree, though it requires some development effort. With BODs, some part of the user provisioning may be automated and driven by changes done in Active Directory. For instance, if you create a user in AD and assign it to certain AD groups, Using BODs, you can automatically define that user in InforOS component called IFS, which many of you are familiar with already, create resource management record and associated SSOP identity in LSF, assign LSF roles based on the AD group membership, create an actor record in Landmark, and also SSOP identity there, instantly without using ISS sync, and also assign Landmark roles based on the Active Directory group membership as well. While this presentation is a bit short to provide you with technical details uh, of the BOD exchange setup in N4 technology components, I will demonstrate the actual end process visible to administrators and end users. So we start with creating a user in Active Directory. In your company, the process may be automated or manual. We also are going to assign the user to the AD group that will determine the user security in LSF and Landmark product but by auto-assigning LSF and Landmark roles based on the AD group membership. So in our case, the username, as you see, is a test bot 6 and it's also assigned to a special group called Lawson Test Bot Admin Group, which will determine uh, the automatic assignment to uh, one of the roles that exist in both LSF and Landmark. Once a user is picked up by InforOS from Active Directory, which may happen automatically or done via manual sync, a security role was auto-assigned to it, as you see here. Since I said in the configuration that all members of that group, loss and test bod, will get candidate underscore ST role in InforOS. Note that the role itself has two logical IDs listed here. One of them is for LSF and one is for Landmark, and that's an indication that this role will be assigned to the RMID and actor in LSF and Landmark. I assigned a Landmark actor ID manually in this case, but there are ways to automate this as well, such as export import of the InforOS users. 
And here you can see what happened in LSF. Note that sync of bot propagated information into LSF is done via a special batch job, which runs periodically. That means the sync is not done quite real time. So I see the RM record for that user, and as you see, the RM ID is test bot six, and also SSOP identity, which matches UPN, that were automatically defined, as well as assignment to the candidate that uh, underscore ST role, which was auto assigned. In a landmark, bots are received and processed uh, near real time. And there is no need to run anything manually to get the bots processed. That means you will probably see new items in landmark earlier than you will in LSF. So the process created an actor record, associated identity record, and just like in LSF, assigned the candidate underscore ST role to it. And this concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching this podcast. Please watch other podcasts in this series for more info OS and info related information. This video podcast is brought to you by Analysts, bridging the gap between strategy and IT. Analysts is part of the ACS group. My name is Alex Zahansky.